Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and do a reading. Um, I know you guys know I've been doing a little bit of midterms. Check those out and everything. I know they're only getting so many views. It's it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I need to, I, I'm going to get some more on that going. Um, hopefully today, I've been a little bit tired, a little bit lazy. Uh, it's Sunday, I'm sleeping in, but this, this was brought to my group last night and I said I would do it. I came in a little bit in the evening, so I wasn't ready to just sit with it. I don't like to sit with anything if I'm kind of tired. I mean, I know time is of the essence, urgency, but I just, I, I, I didn't, I was too zapped. Um, but it looks like poor little guy is still missing. Right, so it, um, we're going to go ahead and look at missing Quentin Simon, um, who is missing in Savannah, Georgia. I know as much as you guys at this point, I'm coming in, and that's why I usually like to do this. I don't like to look at too much stuff. I don't look at any other readers is it normally before I begin something. Um, I've gleaned a couple little things, but I did find this um, a, a timeline would be very helpful. Um, kind of look at it because it is kind of a mystery at this point. I've got a few feels going in there though because it looks like there's a, a there's some family drama with with this. I did observe that. Um, looks like we got a, a young 22 year old mother apparently living with um, her mother, the grandmother, um, from what I assessed, my, my little glean, she got a boyfriend who's probably good for nothing, you know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, you know, I, I understand when you're a mother and you got you know, the kid and she's, and apparently this young lady has another kid and, and here we are, okay, and she's in, and apparently grandma has custody of her kids, you know, the, the daughter's kids, and has been wanting to kick these guys out because they're destroying the house, that's just in a nutshell what I understand. Okay, if, if I'm looking right, which I know I could have some strong views, you know, being a grandmother and, you know, it's like you want to help your kids, you want to help your daughter, but they got little ones, but you're going to put the littles first because you're, you know, you're the grown up here, you know, and who knows what all dynamic, family dynamic got into this mess. That's a whole thing. We just need to find this child, but those things can still be relevant and important. Like, who's this boyfriend? Is he the father child? I don't even know yet. Let's, let's take a look. So I'm going to look at, this is WJCL 22 ABC. Um, and this says timeline. This is, this is something I, I really want to um, look at. That's important. The search for missing Savannah toddler, Quentin Simon. I know somebody is bothering me, um, at the moment. Um, I'm sure I can get to it later. It's no big deal. Let's, let's just get to work. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, he's just, just sweet. He's only 20 months old. Just the sweetest thing. You know, and the mother, you know, she looks young to me. She looks, just looking at this uh, uh, little photo here, this image, she looks young. You know, and, and see, that's, you know, <sighs> forgive me. Forgive me. Let me just throw this in here. And this is what, you know, I have to. We need birth control. We need, you know, not everybody. And this is why I know that the repubs and all this just want everybody birth and babies, birth and babies, birth and babies. Okay, let's just, you know, we can put them for adoption, foster care, or hey, the grandmas could take them over, right? You know, all this stuff. You know, guys, there's got to be some kind of control. Just not everybody should be a mother and, you know, God bless, you know, I, I know poor little guy, but we don't want little ones ending up in this situation, right? Okay, we, we don't, now, now he's missing, you know, we don't know what's going on, Who you know, and everything, but we're going to, we're going to get some tarot. We're going to get a lot better perspective of what's going on. One, hopefully we can find him. Is he with us? It, it looks like we're about five days into this. We know the odds slim out the further along we are. Um, by the way, I know somebody commented, could I look at Lucian again? Um, I will soon. Uh, I don't know what I, I was sitting with it though. I don't know what more I can, it can see on Lucian. Um, just, you know, because I, I, I definitely f I felt the water and I know a lot of times psychics say water, but no, I was definitely hearing mirror like looking at reflection. I know there is a reflection pond um, there. I, I was kind of drawn in their area, though they, um, you know, um, Yakima and everybody um, said they searched it. Um, but I, you know, give me time. Um, I'll try not to take too long on that. I'll try to let, take another look at Lucy and he's very important. He's very close. He's, oh, um, Yakima is only very, very close to where I'm at. So I know quite a bit about, you know, there, there's a lot of talk about that case. Um, just to throw in real quick, um, one of the reasons why I even did that also is I, I do feel, I do not feel foul play in that case. I know some people, you know how people are. That is the nature of the beast. That is the way people are. Um, I, I don't feel foul play in that case. I, I do everything for all intents and purposes. Looks like a walk away. This I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't sat with it yet, um, but I, I do definitely got some feelers up. 
I have some feelers up. This this may not be a Lucian case. Okay, let's go ahead and look at it. So, Savannah, Georgia, a 20-month-old toddler disappears in Savannah days later, and still there are no answers on this case. Um, let me just kind of look what date was this article. Um, October 9th, which is today, right? Yeah, so this was just updated about 2.15 p.m. So um, um, I'm not sure if that is my time. I don't know. Um, probably not. Probably not. So this is probably a few hours ago. Here's what we know right now. The search of Quentin Simon. Check back for update. Okay. So it starts, okay, it looks like Wednesday, October 5th. Quentin is seen around 6 a.m. in his playpen in his Buckhalter Road home. He is noticed missing around 9 a.m., and the police are contacted. Okay, so my first thought, I want to know who's all home here. Who's all home? Is is the grandmother, um, is she out working? Because she's probably out working to pay the bills, right? You know how it is and stuff. Grandma, when she has to take over for the the daughter or, you know, sons or, and, you know, and, and I, I, like I said, I know she's dealing with uh, some, uh, some stuff here. Okay, we're going to look into it. We'll talk about it in a minute. Just like I said, it was a quick glean, quick glean, and I'm trying not to be judgmental. Okay, and we got little, little sweet little. Let me, let me show you what he looks like just to kind of get it out there for um, anybody that's important. That's what that little sweetheart looks like. Okay, get that on there. Okay, so this is this is a big thing out there. This is in uh, Chatham County. Um, so I'm I'm not familiar. I, I know there's an Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, I know there's Herschel Walker is out there, and I think Marjorie Taylor Greene. You know, a, a little bit. I don't know much about here. Um, I think I may have d done some missing person in Georgia before, though, maybe years ago. I don't know. Uh, but let's kind of go ahead. Uh, Chatham County uh, Police, Savannah Mountain Patrol, the Federal Bureau. So they've got the FBI involved. Um, Liberty County Sheriff Office. Kate, there, there's a whole lot. Helicopters. They've been searching the area for this child. Um, neighbors are helping. Uh, no luck so far. Buck Halter Road and nearby roads are temporarily closed during the day. So they're doing all. Oh, so sweet. Thursday, October 6th, Chatham County Police um, Chief Jeff Hadley holds a press conference saying in part police are treating this case as a missing person investigation. No evidence to indicate Quentin is no longer alive. So at this moment, there's no evidence yet, right? Okay, and, and we know we know evidence, key word though. Um, and then WJCL speaks with uh, Quentin's grandparents, Thomas and Billy Joe Howell about the boy and the ongoing search. And I, I, I can tell, I know the grandmas, you know, I can, I can see the face. And kind of stand there. And this might be um, the guy standing next to her. Um, I don't know if this is her boyfriend or husband. Um, you know, there's someone standing next to her. He he looks stressed. Um, so I I mean I already kind of feel these definitely these people. Okay, are not on there. Friday, uh, Chief Hadley provides an update on the case during his uh, regularly scheduled presentation to Chatham County commissioners. In court documents obtained by WJCL, it is learned that the grandparents are the ones who have custody of Quinton and that the grandmother was trying to remove the child's mother, Leilani Simon, and her boyfriend, Daniel Youngkin, from the home. Now, so far, I see boyfriend, not necessarily the father of child. Uh, you know, why should she have to try? Why does she have to evict her kid? Okay, why? You know, so it looks like these people... These, the, they, they might, you know, why does she have to go through that process? Get out. So are they fighting her? Well, we get, okay, so <clears throat> I kind of see that there. That can be, there's a little family feud there. Because, you know, I'll tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, and I know she's doing her best. And she looks like she's, she's a strong woman. Just saying, if I got, if you're my kid and you don't get out when I tell you to get out, if I got to go through the eviction process, you know, we're going to have an issue. Where you, I, I don't think really I would have to go that far. Let me just say that, okay? Because I'm gonna get tough. I'm gonna get tough. You know, I'm gonna make I'm making life a living hell. You're gonna want to get out of my house. If I don't make, I gotta go to court and pay my money to evict you. If I want you out, okay? I, I understand if somebody is a, a tenant, this, but if you're my kid and I'm saying it, it's time, little birdie, go and get out of my house, okay? Because apparently these guys are tearing up this woman's house. Just from what I've seen, you know, we'll look at another article. But if I got to go to the court to evict you and you're my kid, we're, we're okay, here we go. I'm going to, here come, here comes Kali. Here comes Kali. Here comes this mother. 
Okay, so I, I, you know, I feel for her if she's had to go through, you know, she's got, you know, her kid, you know, and she's having to personally evict them, and she's got to deal with, you know, the boyfriend. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, here comes, you know, that's what I'm going to do. If I have to, if you won't get out when I tell you to, and I have to personally evict you, because maybe, what, you don't want to pay rent, you don't want to, you know, just, oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started on this stuff. Some of these kids nowadays, so my kids know better than do, they don't want to do that. You know, like if I told Tiana, you know, okay, it's time to move out. It's time for something. Nope, nope. There was a little period when my son would be, oh, it's time to go out. <laughs> you know, it's time to get out. You know, they said, when we say get out, you better get out. That's, there's, you know, that's just the way it is. I remember there was somebody I, I was, uh, just real quick, I know you want to hear about Quentin, but just saying, I was dating somebody years ago, uh, you know, when they, I don't know, it was a different day and age, but uh, when uh, they turned 18, you know, and also graduated, you know, they were 18 and graduated. So now they graduated from high school. You know what their uh, graduation gift was? Luggage. Why do you think? Okay, it's time to get out. You, you're 18, you graduated, there's your luggage. Get out. Okay, it was a different day and age. But kids nowadays, you know, they think they, nope, nope, oh, I'm not leaving. You can evict me. What? Oh, boy, no, no, no. Oh, I feel, I, I, we need to find Quentin, okay? A court document, okay, so we already read that. So she's having to remove, she has to go through a process while these jokers are tearing up her house, apparently, okay? They're damaging her house, and then she has to get custody of these kids. So we can already kind of see there is some dysfunction in this home, and, and just like maybe maybe I'm getting fiery because this is the way the, the grandmother's feeling. It could be sometimes my empath ability, but I'm just saying, this is, you know, if I say get out and you're going to sit there and try to you know chain yourself to the bedpost and say I'm not leaving it's not because you don't want to get out there in the world pay rent whatever and you want to be a thorn in my side and I have to go evict you okay you know the Kali's coming out okay okay and, uh, and it says uh, below court documents show no one is living in peace that is a quote in this article absolutely I can only imagine this has got to be horrible a horrible living environment and then we've got children and I, I believe there is another child involved but let's get you Chatham County Police issue a statement reading detectives are working 18 to 20 or um, are working 18 20 hour days outdoor searches continue they're doing their best I know searches conducted to the home a backyard pool in the pond so apparently there's a pond okay Saturday October 8th Chatham County Police Department issues a statement saying the search continues uh, they don't need more volunteers. That's all we got. Um, um, October 9th, Sunday, October 9th, uh, CCPD issues a statement saying they're re canvassing. This is all we really got here. And this is all we got on that. So that's a timeline. Now let's kind of dig. Cause like I said, I know I saw a little bitty, okay, with this um, situation. Like I said, we can, we can understand there's some tension here. Okay, we got a kid who's, I, I believe she's, the daughter is about 22. She's got some boyfriend. He's probably good for nothing because they usually are. Okay. Especially if they won't get out and they're tearing up the house. Okay. And grandma got custody of the kids for some reason. Not only that, she was granted custody for some reason, right? Somehow in here. Okay. This is very tricky. And then they don't, they have the audacity to not refuse to leave her home. Oh, 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 don't get me started. Don't get me started. And now we have a child missing. Okay, so let's let's kind of um, let's pick NBC News. This was 17 hours ago. So this was about you know 17 hours ago. Let's kind of see. I, I want to get a little bit, just a little little into what's going on, and then we're gonna get those cards down. Okay, because I'm I'm on fire right now with this. Oh, look at this little sweet little boy. Let me show you this sweet little innocent innocent. Innocent little child. Innocent. Okay. You know, I'm just, oh, his little innocent face. Okay. So this is uh, NBC News. Uh, this is October 8th. So this is yesterday. Uh, Dennis Romero. Authorities in Chatham County wrapped up a fourth day searching unsuccessfully for missing 20 month old. Qu uh, I got my notebook. Okay. Good. Uh, Quentin Simon 
but authorities still hope he will be found alive. The toddler was reported missing Wednesday morning from his home and unincorporated part of the county uh, near Savannah. And county police have, they, they say no foul play. That may be so, they're saying at the moment. Uh, you know, this feels like, a, a, like I said, a lot of chaos, neglect is probably, but we don't know yet, okay? And stuff, I, I, I would kind of like to feel out who's there, where's grandma, you know? We're going to hold out, hope he's still alive, absolutely, you know? And we always do that. That's kind of, it, it, sometimes I do that, even as a reader. I, you know, maybe I'm feeling something, but, you know, sometimes I do, I, I'm just going to hold on to hope. I, I do that as well. And stuff, you know, um, and the case has drawn widespread attention and a large law enforcement response. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but they search, you know, uh, the search for the child is involved in army law enforcement. We got the FBI, all that. Um, so I'm trying to see, is there any more? Okay. Officials review, interviewed family members and anyone close to Quentin and electronically searched the phones, those close to him, because abduction could not be ruled out. FBI is joined the lo local effort. I'm glad they're just, you know. On Wednesday, Hadley said Quentin's mother's boyfriend. Now, he woke up at 6 and reported seeing him at that time. So this is the boyfriend. is the one who sees him at 6. Okay, so allegedly, but let's just. Okay, mother woke up at some other time later. Um, and reported the child missing at 9.39. So we got 9.39. Okay, no, okay, so this one, the boy's biological father, who was not named, was not near him during the time of the disappearance. So, yes, the boyfriend is not the biological. That's what I, that's what I was feeling. Okay, now the child's mother said her boyfriend had been working with detectives. Okay, at this point, there are victims, he said, they're dealing with the loss of a child. I stop. And, you know, if this is all a, a neglect, innocent, yeah, I feel, you know, there, there's certain feel bad, but then there's this, all this chaos and there, there is this drama. Okay. And, and I also kind of, you know, not trying to, why are we waking up later if the child's, you know, in the playpen awake? Why is mother asleep? Okay. If the child's awake, the mother should be awake. Um, th because this boyfriend, right? He's not the biological. He's, he's just whatever. Okay. If the child's awake, what you as mothers, right? We're, we're awake, right? If the child wakes up, you wake up. Why is she waking up later? Why is she waking up later? Here we got right there. Why, I've, I've got a problem with that area, you know, but that's that that can be just bad parenting, okay? And stuff, but normally, I know when my kids were awake, well, it's time to wake up, and you're awake with them, and you're getting breakfast, or you're doing whatever, and you maybe you put them in front of the TV to watch some cartoons while you kind of you know sort your life out a little bit and get organized for the day. Why is the child, you know, see now? Now, of course, could he be asleep in the playpen at six? That's true, um, but you know, he, it looks like woke up and reported seeing him in the playpen. And then, then, well, if he's if he's asleep, why is he in a playpen, not a crib? There, there's a whole lot, but anyway, it's it's okay. Sit with it. Uh, so, and uh, no one suspects person of interest. Uh, no suspects or persons of interest have a name. No evidence to suggest Quinton didn't walk off. Although exhaustive searches of a geographic area, you know, okay, okay, okay. This is this is tough. I want to. Uh, is there an interview with the grandma? I believe there is. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can see what grandma's saying here. So let me go to YouTube. And bear with me for a moment. I I just I would like to see if if grandma just something says look at grandma. Um, missing Quentin Simon and grandmother. I think there might be, um, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Give me a moment. Give me a moment here. I just, I, I want to see if she, I think she did an interview and I would really like to see it. So hold on. If, if it doesn't pull up, it's fine. Missing Quentin Simon and grandmother speaks. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to see. So, um, and we'll watch it together. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm all coming in new, just some feels. And like I said, maybe I'm feeling kind of strong because grandma's had it. I, I, sometimes the empath thing takes over, but I also, just like I said, if kids don't want to get out of my house and I tell them to leave and I've got to evict you, I'm going to be mad. So I, I probably, she's probably frustrated and I got to get custody of these kids because they're not getting raised right. Frustration, right? Okay. So here's a little bit, um, it looks like. 
We're gonna have a little supper and grab our chicken in a minute. Most advanced iPhone yet. Are you gonna get one? Of course you are. I'm watching it with you. I'm figuring. We both uh, live right there. I got here about three o'clock yesterday, and, and I got here about three thirty in the morning. That's just been it's been crazy. I mean, we don't know nothing. Whether it's the answers we want to hear or answers we don't want to hear, we just want to know something. My concern is him, and that's that's all it is. I mean, we 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 concerned with his with his well being. I know everybody worked really hard yesterday. And, and we appreciate yeah, working and we, hard. And we appreciate everything that everybody has done. All the people that's come out and searched for him and all that. And, He's always smiling. He's a happy. He's a he's a happy kid. I mean, he, you get some kids that's, that, but he, he always had a big smile on his face, and he was always happy. Let me ask you, why are you getting emotional? Because he's not here. He's just a baby. I don't want him home. He's just a baby. Leilani's my. There's Leilani's my daughter. She's 22. Um, she hasn't uh always done the right things. Sometimes she does really great, and sometimes she doesn't. And, um, I'm, uh, I don't know what to think right now. I don't know what to believe, I mean, because we, we, I don't think anybody ever believes that this is going to happen to them. I don't know if I can trust her. I don't. I, mean, we, I just know I'm hurt, we and I want this baby home. We, want we don't have answers. Just thank you and everybody that's yeah, out. Thank you for everybody that's and, uh, and, and please don't stop looking. Yeah. I say we want answers. We want to find him. That's that's the answer we want is somebody found him. You know, we, we're still hoping and praying and we wish everybody to pray for him. Pray yes. pray for us. Yes. Okay, that's why I want to see that. Now I'm trying maybe I, I noticed they were saying something about coming in at three thirty this at. So I'm wondering, maybe I'm wrong. Do they not live together? So hold on, let me just, I'm trying to figure it out. You know, could this be a, another property? Okay, so this would kind of make a little more sense. Hold on, um, give me a moment because now I, now I have that and I'm about to throw down cards. I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm just trying to feel out. And give me a moment. Uh, missing Quentin Simon, Savannah, Georgia. And did the daughter live with the grandmother? Trying to understand this this living dynamic here. Um, okay, I've already visited. Okay, here we go. This this is this, this might be what I, I need. Um, Georgia court records show missing toddlers family at odds. Okay, so this is a couple days ago. This is WJCL. It must be their local. Where is Quentin Simon searching for missing? Let, let's see. I, I need to understand this a little bit more. Um, yeah, I definitely and obviously the grandmother. You know she's. She's in a, she's like sometimes she does good so she's trying to she's got hope for we always have hope for our kids you know we do but we get frust you know I I don't and everything so um, let me kind of look and see if I could find give me a moment to kind of glean this or is this the one I already did I already look at this hold on I'm trying to figure it out no nope, this is what okay darn it I want to see what is happening here give me a moment. Okay, here we go. CrimeOnline.com. Quentin Simon. Georgia Tot still missing. Grandma says she's not sure if she trusts the mother. Okay, so, you know, Grandma doesn't know what's going on and stuff. So, she, apparently, Grandma is not there is one thing we can understand. Maybe that maybe this is a the property they live in. Let me. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, give me a moment. Let me just kind of scan this. Oh, little sweetheart. Okay. Hold on. Oh, God, what are you doing? Okay. Police say the boy's father has been ruled out. The actual bio, um, he was far away from home. They've confirmed that. Nation told the station they've seen the toddler wandering around outside his home and in the street in the past. So he's been, he's, you know, he was running back and forth in front of the house and I was afraid he'd going to get hit. Okay, so some country people out there. Yep, yep, okay. So he probably did wander off because... You know, like I said, why is she sleeping? And I wonder if she's really sleeping at nine versus later. Okay. And, and, and did the, bo you know, this boyfriend look, see if a playpen, go back to sleep. And you know, a 20-month-old 20, 20 can get out of a playpen. Okay. Babysitter said she wasn't needed on morning Quentin disappeared. Wait a minute. 
In an interview with WSAB, Diana McCarta, who identified herself as the babysitter. Now, I don't, does the mother work? Why do we need a babysitter? Um, let me see. It's okay. Said that she's been taking care of Quentin and his little brother for about six months. As she watches the children daily, she said, even when their mother isn't working. Okay, so the mother does work. But she even watches them when the mother isn't working. Why? Okay. Uh, McCarter said she was supposed to babysit on Wednesday morning. But the family contacted her and told her that she wasn't needed for the day. She found it odd that the plans were changed so quickly. Then later found out the toddler had been reported missing. Oh. And then the plot thickens. Okay. Now, I want to, remember, we want to be kind of careful. Maybe maybe there's an explanation and the child still wandered off. This is, still, this is a very important detail. I got a text this morning saying they would not be here, would not be babysitting them. Okay, so it was 5.29 a.m. Okay, so this, this is... Wow, you're up early, or did you go to sleep? 5.29 a.m. Now, was it the mother or the boyfriend? Uh, maybe she doesn't know, okay. Okay, so that's interesting. So somehow at 5.29 a.m., she gets a text that that your babysitter not needed, which is kind of odd because I have them even when she doesn't work. So even when she doesn't work, she has them. But on the one day, now, 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 um, get suspicious here. Now I'm really getting suspicious. Okay. But I know, I know I'm just going to get my, my little, I, I'm going to need to join some Facebook groups for this, but I don't like to join them until I've done my read. I, that's one thing because too much will, it can mess with me, you know, and stuff. Okay. So that is a major, major thing to know. Okay, now wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, the plot thickens. Give me a moment here, guys. Okay, and then I get a text at 9 a.m. saying, have I seen Quentin? I immediately go to their house. I try to help them look. They didn't want that. So I've just been waiting around like everybody else. Who says what? Grandmother says she doesn't know she trusts Quentin's mother. Quentin's grandparents, Thomas and Billy Joe Howell, identify the child's mother as their daughter, 22-year-old Leilani. She hasn't always done the right thing, and we saw that. Okay, sometimes she does really... Okay, we already saw that. The grandparents are now pushing for answers. Billy Joe said that she's the child's custodian and wants him back home. He's just a baby. So, I, I'm i just going to assess here that the this may be a property I'm, I'm just kind of maybe this is a property and then the grandma and they're they're there because it looks like the grandmother comes in later she said her and, and then the one guy about 3 30 in the morning the next day and she's trying to get these guys evicted then i'm kind of you know i'm very I, i'm confused with a lot of things but well if she has custody hold on i'm trying to close this um if she has custody why is is quitting with the mom and not her. Maybe she's got custody, but she's trying to let them, you know, she's trying to teach the responsibility, but that she's trying to evict them. This is convoluted. Let's just sit with it. Let's just get to it. Wow. This is a lot. This is a lot, guys. And I, you know, so I, I like I said, I'm just a little confused about that, but I, I'm, I'm just going to kind of assess. It looks like maybe she's trying to evict the, the kids, uh, the daughter, which are really not kids. Um, and this boyfriend who, who's probably good for nothing, he probably is, from a property. And now it looks like, and that's why I kind of sat there with the question, we've got a babysitter, does she work, why does she need, but it looks like this babysitter, I don't know where she has the money, you know, maybe there's, maybe they don't pay much, um, that even when she's not working, has the babysitter come over and take care of the kid, which kind of tells me something. Uh, uh, there might be a little, you know, a little laziness in there. Okay, I'm just saying, like I said, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I know how people kind of watch their daycare expenses. Um, also, and if you're off work, you're usually with the kids. That's what I did. I did. I never had a babysitter come over when I'm off work with my kids ever. Okay, um, just saying. Uh, I can see, though, maybe mom wants a little rest. She's tired. I, I know sometimes people have nannies and all that, so I could, I could sort that as well. But it's very suspicious that at 5.29 in the morning on it, and this, and even the, the babysitter thought it, it's kind of odd that, that she's getting a text saying you're not needed today. 
And then supposedly this boyfriend says, well, I saw him in a playpen at 6. And then the mom slept till 9.39, which is an unusual number. Um, a lot of times people round off numbers. How does she come up with a 9.39 number? There's a whole lot to unpack. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're, we're prepped for it. Uh, like I said, there's some still some things here that I, I'm kind of sitting with, just like you guys. There, there is a lot, and I feel like we're not getting the whole thing. But it looks like, just my feels, because the grandmother is coming in um, so late, it, it, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this must be, um, and correct me if you guys know more, I know Super Sleuths, a property that Grandma has, and, they're, and apparently they're tearing up the place, so it looks like they don't all live together. Okay, but still, like I said, if you are my kid and I want you out of something, if I have to go through the process to legally evict you, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem, and, and you don't want me to go to court, okay? Just, I'm just saying, I don't know what this poor grandma has been through, okay? But but the main one, Quentin, what is happening here? This could be a straight case of neglect. Oh, my God, we lost him, or an accident happened. Let's, let's feel it out. Let's flesh this out, guys. What does Spirit have to say? Very frustrating. I, I do feel a lot of anger. I don't know why. I, I just... I don't always get this damn angry, but I'm very frustrated, and I'm not feeling good on this. I do not feel good on this at all, and I'm very, I'm just, ooh, I'm feeling just hot when I do this, and I, I normally am not this mad over this. So I got to ask myself, why, are, why am I so angry? But I, you know, I'm probably feeling the frustration of the grandmother, and and I'm also feeling very suspicious with it, what the babysitter said. Okay. And that's why I, I don't like to read too much, but still, sometimes you have to. And that's why I, I had some questions about this property, and I, I need to know a little bit about this family dynamic. Is that my Dark Prince? I got the Dark Prince there. Okay. And those who watch me, that's my Darkest Prince. Is that that boyfriend? What's going on? Okay. You know, I, and, but I, why does grandma, why did, why is she letting them all live together? She got custody and, God, I know things happen, but. I know, but I definitely, that I wanted to see that video. Um, I, I know, I knew immediately, I know the grandmother's not involved with this and she's probably just doing her best. You know, I, I know, I know you want the best for your kids. You try to teach them. Okay, so, all right, so we're going to cut it. No, I know I'm not feeling very good, but the main thing, let's see if we can figure out what happened, where he is. I will do keywords at the end if we can, you know, figure some things out. Okay, so the very first card is peace, which is two of swords. We know, uh, we just uh, unpacked quite a bit on that. You know, as far as choices, decisions, and everything, this kind of makes me feel a whole lot. You know, especially the grandma just wants peace. Did I did I say a quote about that? You know, there there's no peace in this home. That was a big thing there. So there's already some animus there, um, challenges with with this whole situation. Grandma wanting them out and everything. And two of swords energy. Even grandma probably trying to, you know, make choices here. You know, trying to deal with this this drama. Okay, and everything, and then we know she's uh, choices uh, getting custody. You know what? What other things were going on? Was she gonna pick up these kids? Was she? You know what, what is happening? So they're peace. This is, you know, trying to you know get peace. This is a, something obviously that was not happening though. Okay, so let's see what the crossing card is. Crossing energy. We got the five of swords, which which is the battle card. Um, so you know that is the defeat card, and this is they were obviously in some kind of battle more, you know, um, a thing. She's trying to get these people out. You know, she's got custody of the kids. There's a lot of family drama. Okay, so, you know, and when there's, where there's smoke, there's fire, is what Spirit is saying in my head. Okay, when there's smoke, there's fire. So, when there's drama like this, you know, that we, we got to pay attention. It is relevant in some way. Okay, except let's kind of go in the hidden area. Maybe things that people aren't seeing. Okay, this is what we want to look at. Okay, so um, a couple things here, what I've got. The very first thing I feel when I see the hermit is um, somehow in here, this makes me actually feel some of the energy with the child getting left alone. 
getting left alone, not getting watched, this, that, whatever. Okay, I, I actually, and I know we think of the hermit as an old man, but I actually feel kind of getting left alone kind of thing here. Um, now, the Queen of Dis um, energy here, um, the Queen of Pentacles, um, I, I normally, I, I'm, have, I'm hard pressed to feel that this is the, this is um, the mother because Queen of Pentacles is normally very responsible. Um, I'm actually going to feel more. This is the this is the this is the grandmother energy. Who um, and and one of the things about that um, coming in there, you know, trying to teach some kind of responsibility. You know that you got to work, you got to take care of this and everything. But I've also got this this energy here, this hermit, which is kind of making me feel this child is is kind of getting left alone. I, I just get this kind of feel, and just like we we just saw an account, some neighbors saying, "Well, I've seen him walking around in the street, okay, at, at his little age and stuff." She's trying to, you know, so whatever. I I'm not sure why she's not there or why the kids aren't with her. Why the you know, like I said, I'm not sure. But just we're, we got to find Quentin. Okay, and so, so let's kind of go and see what's going on. And yes, Ace of Cups, you know, the grandmother definitely loves this child. You know, and, and I'm sure maybe, the, you know, the daughter loves the child. I'm not going to say, but love is not enough. You got to take care of, you got to feed, you got to provide, you got to work, you got, you know, and, and this is one of the dynamics sometimes that comes with young mother energy or young father energy. I want to say both. Okay, because hey, where, where is the father? Why is he, not, you know, there's a whole lot too. Um, is it love is not always, oh, they're so cute, dress them up and this, that. There is work involved with that. You've got to feed them. You've got to clothe them. You also got to give them attention, play with them, teaching them how to read, all that. You know, you've got to be attentive. There's a lot to be in it. We all know that, right? Okay, but we know, you know, grandma loves his child. Now, this is kind of hidden uh, what we got. Okay, so we got the Prince of Cups energy there. You know what I'm kind of looking at. Um, let me kind of tune in. Hold on. I'm actually going to feel this is um, this is Quentin's energy here. I know I, this is more of an expression, getting alone. I feel this is Quentin because the cups is connected. Okay, and we got that kind of sensitivity, that, you know, a little, you know, little softy energy. I, I feel this is the Quentin child. I'm going to put one more overlap in just to get kind of a feel, and we're going to move in there. And so, so we've got the three pentacles. That fits. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I pulled that card. That can be about partnership, uh, teamwork, trying to work together. I feel, and knowing this is the work card, it makes me feel grandma has been trying to make this work. I notice it's it's a three here. So we got, you know, we could say maybe grandma at the head and we're dealing with, you know, this daughter and then she's got this boyfriend kind of thing. Um, you know, obviously made some kind of an agreement getting custody. So they're trying to work out various arrangements. You know, I'm sure grandma probably works the job herself. She's trying to take care of things, whatever. But maybe she got that custody. So at any time, hey, you know, maybe try you guys work this out. But if any time, if, if this is messing up, I'm going in. Okay, and I'm taking them with me, you know, whatever. It could be that kind of thing, okay? But for whatever reason, they've got this agreement deal, obviously with the courts or whatever. She got custody. She's trying to do it right. So, yeah, I do feel Grandma is the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely not daughter energy. I've got princess cards in there. I feel she would be more of a younger energy. I do feel the little one, Quentin, is the Prince of Cups. The Ace of Cups is right behind, uh, above it. But I'm concerned about that that um, that hermit energy. That makes me feel a little him, like kind of get isolated alone, like left alone sometimes, you know, I guess. Um, but let's kind of see. I, I do want to look. Is there any kind of violence? Is there something going on here? Uh, do the 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 just the mother and this boyfriend know what happened to something an accident happened in the home and they're covering it up this I, i'm looking at all of it okay you know when they're scared i do get the eight of swords which can be my signal this is coming up in the next you know within now to the next few months someone's probably going to go to jail okay so i've already got that kind of symbol here that there looks like there could be some jail um charges press so that's something that's telling me something here what happened there we go princess of cups like i said okay so this makes me feel um the daughter energy um notice these two are cups so we've got and this is a little one too prince of cups and then, then we got the mother who is the princess of cups who is a young mother um 22 is very young um and everything now let's kind of go ahead what is a card sitting by her side there we've got the moon now confusion yes can be about also deception what are we being deception about what are we trying to be confusing about here okay so this makes me feel as i'm kind of looking at some of these energies here that the mother is being deceptive somebody looks like it's going to go to jail okay with something going on here 
So there's not, this is not, I know the cops are saying, not necessarily you know, foul play. Now, whatever happened to Quentin may not be foul play per se, but I do feel some deception in that she may know a little bit more of what happened. If something happened in the home because people weren't paying attention. Remember that babysitter got a call, 529, okay, that you're not needed. That is incredibly suspect. That, that really gets my antenna going. Okay, so I'm still looking here. I saw now we got the three of cups that could be um, some kind of a celebration. Um, now, um, now he's 20, so it, it, his birthday was a few months off. Um, and this makes me feel their mind. Hmm, let me let me just sit with it. And then we got the ten of cups and everything. Okay, so let me sit with that for a minute. I know I've got the home life and, and things like that. Um, this makes me feel there might have been some kind of. Um, uh, some kind of an event coming up soon and then also the home we know there's a lot centering around that home this is definitely not a happy home life okay uh, but this is definitely something grandma would have wanted uh, but it also can make me feel like so we got deception uh, that you know the grandma may I, I know she's pretty attuned she knows there's problems but maybe she was being told certain things are um, Oh, everything's fine. We're doing good. I'm working. You know, she may not. She may have been um, being told certain things were you were fine in certain areas she did not know of. Um, but we'll sit with it. Let me just put one more over that. Justice. Okay, there's there. Well, we've got the eviction process going on. Okay, so we know there's something. But the three of cups uh, makes me feel some kind of um, some kind of a reason to celebrate could be. Um, but it also some kind of an event coming up. Some some kind of either a holiday or something coming on. Maybe the daughter's birthday was around the corner. Um, something something coming up here. There there's significance with it. I'm gonna sit with it for a little bit. I do feel some deception. Um, the boyfriend so far has not come up. I'm getting the mother energy here. Let's kind of go ahead and see. The magician, okay, we know he disappeared. Did someone make him disappear, though? My magician can be my symbol sometimes that somebody has made someone disappear. So I'm wondering, did some kind of accident happen in the home? Some kind of weird thing there. I'm not necessarily getting violence, but maybe some kind of neglect, something bad happened, and then we're, we're, we're trying to cover up something. I'm just feeling a little something here, okay? And stuff, you know, there's lots of concerns. And we got the change card. Obviously, everything has changed. Yes, uh, we need a change in there. Ace of Dis, let me sit with that. Oh, that could be a reward possibly coming. Okay, so now we got to sit with some things here. I want to kind of sit with the mother feelings, attitudes, emotions. Um, and we've got a little bit there. I've got a wee bit of deception. What's going on in her head? Um, let's kind of try to see if we can see anything there. Okay, so we know, we know she was kind of at a crossroads. She's about to get evicted. You know, all this kind of stuff. Okay, we got that. Okay, now this is a strength card, but this is also the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands can be putting up a guard, blocking. Maybe she's not talking about some things. She's trying to block certain things. Could possibly lawyer up. Okay, so that's a little bit different. That can be to be guarded. Okay, that can be to be guarded. That's, that's a little bit different in the thought. Okay, we got the Princess of Dis. Okay, now I've got the princess here, but I've got a princess. Hold on one sec. Let me just sit with that. Let me sit with that. I'm in the feelings, attitudes, emotions. Ooh, we got that grandma energy with the, the queen of swords. Um, so um, definitely um, this, what I'm saying, we've got the queen of pentacles here, but the queen of swords is that there's definitely stressors. She's, you know, grandma's trying to pull out the, the sword here. Um, and that kind of energy, there's a lot of kind of stressors on that and stuff. Princess, I, I can see that in work situation. Maybe she's trying to work, do this, that, whatever. But I've got that guard, that nine of wands. She's, she's, I don't think she's, she's uh, being open about a lot of things here. Now, I want to kind of look in the environment. What happened in the environment that day? What's going on here? Okay, now three of wands can be, you know, could be go out, wander. That, that could be. Um, he could, let's kind of go and see there. Okay, now I do get the eight of pentacles. I know that can be a work kind of situation, but also um, this one has trees and stuff. I can look at that as well. Hold on one second. Okay, now we got the seven of wands. Stand up, stand ground, gold mint moment. We got that nine of cups energy popping up in there and stuff. Yeah, let me see that 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 boyfriend. Hold on one second. Okay, let me kind of sit with that a minute. I'm not sure about the environment. I'm just. It's kind of, 
I, I, there's a possibility of wander. Could be some trees energy or something. So far, I'm not getting violence. I know we've got kind of battles here. That makes me feel more the family dynamic, not necessarily the child. Um, could be, but I do feel there's some deception there. I do feel um, an arrest coming could, could be potentially going there. So let me kind of look here. Hold on one sec. Law enforcement. I've got the sun there too. Um, okay, we got emperor energy. Hold on one sec. Let me kind of feel it out. Failure. It might be hard to find him, but I'm a little concerned with that. Okay, so one of the things I'm, I'm getting here so far um, with everything, I do feel some kind of deception kind of energy. I don't feel um, necessarily that anybody, any kind of violence against the, against the child. That I'm not feeling. Okay, I do want to kind of peek at something. Hold on one second. You know, but more neglect kind of energy. You know, and stuff. Something is being covered up here, though. I do feel something being covered up. And, and, and everything. I look more, while the sun could potentially indicate some kind of innocence uh, it, it reads that is a potential I've so I've got that moon overlapping the daughter which makes me feel more the innocence of the child not necessarily uh, these adults involved I'm feeling there's a possibility um, could be some kind of um, issues um, that I, I do have to look at, because this is one of the things I was thinking of. The Three Cups can be kind of a celebration card. Were, were, was there some celebrating, um, partying kind of stuff, maybe the night before, some kind of things with that? I feel like there might be a little bit of something like that may have been happening. There could have been a fight um, among the two. Um, there, there could be a little bit of an argument kind of also happened between, um, the, the two people. This is a tough one. We're going to work on those keywords because this is, this is a lot to sort. Um, I feel some kind of deception. I feel some kind of cover up thing making disappear. This is not so simple that I'm feeling a complete wander off kind of situation. It's a little more complicated than that. I want to kind of look at something here. Give me a moment. Something significant with the number eight is popping up. Now, I know eight is yesterday, but something significant with the number eight. I'm just going to put eight there. Two eight. Now, I do have a two eight. Could be, maybe, Spirit is also saying something could pop up. It might go in later into August, or I mean, sorry, October 28th. This could be, uh, 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 take some time, possibly. Something with eight, though, is, is popping up to be here. Now, what they got? Just sitting with something here. Hold on. Could be something more so occurs around four in the morning. That's what I'm kind of feeling here. Okay. Something. So I'm just feeling what I'm kind of suspected. And let me just, I just get throw it down. I'm trying not to throw it down too much, but just let me look at. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do keywords. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of cover up here. Some, it, it feels more neglect. It doesn't feel violence. Um, I, I'm not necessarily getting a violent feel. I know there's battles, but the battles are coming more across to me. Um, and I actually like my phone for this one. I'm going to have to grab my phone. Um, the battles for feel with the family dynamic. Um, 
you know, kind of situation. Like I said, I could feel the frustration of the grandma. Okay, I, I can definitely feel that. There, there's um, a lot there. I'm actually feel there might have been some kind of some kind of little party in or something um, into the late night hours. Um, it, there's something kind of making me feel there. Um, you know, maybe not necessarily a straight drug thing though. There, there's something maybe there, maybe. Um, but I'm, you know, I, I'm a little concerned. I know the failure card. No, nobody wants to see that. I just feel this might get dragged out fighting Quentin. Um, unfortunately, I'm still going to get those keywords though to try, um, you know, is, is some things there. But I do got that. The Eight of Swords can be my jail card. Okay, that can be my jail card. Um, that with a situation that something, you know, comes to surface. Very concerned with the babysitter though. Why are they canceling and also messaging so early at 529? Then why is there a have you seen Quentin kind of thing or something? That's 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 kind of a, a weird thing. I definitely want to look at a Facebook group because I know super sleuths can do stuff. Let's get keywords. Um, I, I'm going to grab my phone for this. It makes it a little easier when I'm trying to. Um, well, no, I could just grab that. That's all right. Actually, it'd be better if I need to show you a map. Okay, so give me a moment here. Whoops. We're going to try to play around with some stuff here. I don't know their exact address. Um, I'm sure it's in there somewhere. This is very, very convoluted. It's it's hard to sort. Uh, but yeah, something feels cover-up-y. I do get that justice, but that justice card makes me feel more this whole having to go to court, trying to evict these people. You know, I feel like the grandma is not one to say too much traumatic about it, uh, you know, but... I think she's going to start speaking up more. Um, she's really, you know, she's not trusting the daughter. And a lot of times family, feel what they feel, you want to always pay attention to that. Okay. And stuff that, that is something told me, watch her interview and stuff. You know, she's, you know, trying to, but she's coming at her like the Queen of Swords and everything. Right. You know, trying to teach them a responsibility. This, you know, it's, it's a mess. Okay. All right. So let me kind of sit with this. Um, we know um, we've got Quentin. Let me set this down here for a minute. Very, very frustrating. <sighs> okay, we know he's 20 months old. Aww. Okay, in Savannah, Georgia. And we've got, it was Chatham County. Let me just double check. That The babysitter thing really alarms me, though, folks. Oh, my God, it so alarms me. Hold on one second. What's going on? Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Give me a moment here. Missing Quentin Simon, Savannah, Georgia. Don't do this to me, Google. Give me a moment. I might have to get my phone. Let's, let's close that one. Sometimes it does this. Missing Quentin Simon, Savannah, Georgia. Okay. And it's Chatham County, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, he was in his playpen, Buckhalter Road. Okay. Okay, so I'm, you know, I'm going to be going in here. So let me kind of go ahead and sit. Here we go. I think it should be enough to get that. Oh, and I do want to write down, I feel some significance with the number eight. Um, but I also, I wonder if something happens around 4 a.m. Just, just something, just something. Um, I was feeling... This is kind of weird. Okay, so I'm here, I, I know this sounds strange. Um, but I'm hearing something about turkeys, turkeys, turkeys or Turkish that's coming in, but it's coming in kind of quick. Um, let me just kind of, uh, so we've got, um, I don't know if there's a little turkey farm. I, I mean, I don't know. Let me just kind of sit with it. So we've got, um, Savannah, Georgia, Buckhalter Road. And let me just, just see if that has any relevance. Savannah, Georgia, Buckhalter Road and turkeys. I, I don't know. Um, that is kind of a weird kind of thing. Give me a moment here.
Let me just look at something here. Give me a moment. Come on, don't be slow. I want to get this moving. I need to have a vibe. Okay, so hold on. When was this posted? Yeah, I'm just, I, I don't know if there's an area like a little turkey farm. I'm, I'm here in turkeys. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, let me just kind of. Hold on one second. There is a wild turkey road in Savannah, Georgia. Give me a moment. Now, I just, um, okay, wild let me just pick this address. There is a wild turkey road. So let me just see how far. I don't know how far this is from it. Um, how far is wild turkey road from Buckhalter Road in Savannah, Georgia? The drive from Buckhalter Road minutes. to wild turkey road is 8.7 miles. And there is an 8. Okay. All right, so I know this sounds weird. Um, it always does. Um, but it looks like um, they lived at Buckhalter Road, um, which is at 31405 is the zip code. There is a wild turkey road, um, which is um, zip code 31406. Um, it, roughly about 15 minutes um, area. It's, it's about 15 minutes away. In, in this area, but there is a wild turkey road. Um, road. There is, <laughs> you know, and, and that's why I say sometimes I just keywords, keywords. I, I don't know why I'm getting. So are we about 15 minutes area, which obviously I don't feel that, that Quentin could possibly walk 15 minutes. I mean, maybe he could. He could. Um, you know, when you think about it, if, if you, if I went out and started walking about 15 minutes, that's very close, guys. But that I know they're they're um, obviously if I'm looking at driving, yeah, because if he started walking, th then you're talking a lot more. But it's about a 15 minute drive. So are we in this area where there's this wild turkey road, which is about 15 minutes away? Let me go ahead, and this is why I'm kind of glad I'm showing you guys my iPad. Do you see the map? There's Buckhalter Road at the top and Wild Turkey Road at the bottom. Okay, and it looks like that's taking the via the I-516 or something like that. And then there's a thing there. So it kind of goes like this. So could we be in this area where this, this Turkey Road is? It's just such a weird thing to hear and it's right there 15 minutes away. There is a there is a wild Turkey Road. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we get the other keywords. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm hearing something about a glass building, like a glass, which would be very unusual. I don't know how country this little spot is or whatever. So let me just see if there's anything. I know, um, let me see. Let me just kind of go Savannah, Georgia, Bocalta Road. Let me see if that, uh, hold on, hold on, motherfucker. Okay, hold on, let me let's do it again. Savannah, Georgia, Buckhalter Road, and Glass Building. Hold on one second. Is there anything that some kind of... No, I'm not seeing. That's kind of hard. So I don't know if there's something out there that can be kind of a glass building or look like a glass building. Um, let me just write that. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing anything on that. I know that's kind of a hard one. Um, I'm not necessarily um, seeing glass building, but something maybe something looks somewhere in, like a glass building, or maybe there's some glass. Just just something I'm hearing. Um, if anybody is in that area, if you know what I'm talking about, great. Hold on. I don't know how to, I don't know how to interpret. What is this? Hold on one second. Okay. 
Savannah, Georgia, Buckhalter Road, Side Meister. I don't know. Nope, that doesn't sell right. How? It's roadside. All right, Buckhalter Roadside Oyster around Savannah. Oh, maybe that's a side oyster. Maybe that's what Spirit is trying to get me to say. How far is that? Okay, hold on. That that is probably a little further out. I don't think that I don't think that's relevant. Hold on. Let me just sit with it. Okay. Just put that to side. I, I don't know what they're trying to say. I keep hearing side. Okay, I get and I it almost sounds like side meister. But I don't know. That doesn't sound like a word. I just, I'm kind of like trying to tell, move on. We want something else. I don't know how to interpret. Just, I'll, I'll just throw it out there. I don't know what they're trying to say. Meister, Meister, Meister. Okay. Here the number 41, and I'm also hearing 241. Let's sit with 241, hold on. Savannah, Georgia, and Buckhalter Road, and 241. There is a 241 Buckhalter Road. Okay, there, there is with that there. There is actually a 241. I don't know what her house is. Was it 605 or something like that? I'm not sure. Um, I do get there is a 241. I just throw it out there. Maybe whatever little house area um, is out in that area. Check it. But I do hear 241 and there is a 241 Buckhalter Road. Um, so, um, and I believe she might, hold on one second. Missing Quentin Simon and 605. Oh shit, I said it. Missing Quentin Simon and 605 Buckhalter Road. Give me a moment. Okay, this are I could have sworn I saw it said 605, but it just says Buckhalter Road on here. I'm trying to get that full address. <sighs> Shit. Maybe it's not 605. Maybe I misread something. But I am hearing 241. And, and there is a 241 Buckhalter Road. It'd be worth it to check that. Whatever house is that area. I don't know what's um, out that way. Um, we sit that there. Okay. So that, but it does seem to hit on that, that road. There is a house with that number. Okay. So, um. I am hearing green, so it just made me feel okay. And uh, I'm definitely getting—I I know it sounds so common for a, a reader, but I'm definitely getting this woodsy area, like a lot of woodsy area. But that I see this kind of small little. God, it, it looks real small. Is it a little shack? Is it a little house? Um, I'm getting a kind of an image of something there. Like I see a lot of trees, 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 but then there's this just this little hidden, almost like this little shack kind of thing. I'm getting an image. It's not a tractor. I, I want to say it almost looks like a tractor, but it's not a tractor in this area. I so I I I I, I want to. Is it a um? I don't even know what are those ATVs or so. I will see this like I will say forest. I will see so it looks kind of a little shacky kind of thing, and then I will see it looks like maybe there's a ATV type of thing or or something like that, like big wheels on it or something. I guess is what I'm trying to describe. And I hear something about Dartmouth. Dartmouth. So hold on one second. 
Savannah, Georgia, and Buckhalter Road and Dartmouth. Am I saying it right? Nope, you're not pulling up the word. You're not getting it. No, no, no. Savannah, Georgia, and Buckhalter Road and D A R M O U T H. Am I doing it? Give me a moment. Okay, that word might be going fuzz. That might be going fuzz. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more, and I'm I'm starting to run out of steam, guys. I can feel it. Like I feel it pulling away. Hold on. I, I'm get this is coming in so crazy. I feel like there's something about check something, but like something with stars in the sky. But then I also get this kind of check lights, like something with like street lights. I like something like we look up or something, something like maybe where there could be a street light or something where maybe there's maybe the stars are kind of bright and then you look at street light that there could be in this area something like that. Maybe where there's a street light or a very uh, strong, vivid lamp, a kind of thing. Or some kind of thing like that. So, um, I think that's all I can get at the moment. I'm kind of running out of steam here. I know sometimes when things start kind of pulling away. Um, so a few things there. Um, there is a 241, uh, book halter. I, I could have sworn I read that they were at a 605. I could, maybe I just, you know, I, I've read a lot of stuff here. Um, but there is a 241. Could little Quentin have wandered, um, or could have been made just something in a little area there. I do feel some deception, but I'm not necessarily getting a violence. I do feel kind of this weird, just pure kind of thing here, though. Um, it, it, now, it could be, let me just, you know, play devil's advocate because I'm still filling things out. I'm not 100% perfect on this one. Um, you know, as far as timing or how it disappears or this or that, definitely not forthcoming. Okay, but um, I still, that magician is coming in strong at the crown, which can be a make disappear. There is a, I have a very strong feel with this canceling the babysitter, which makes me feel something is going on around that time. This doesn't feel a coinky dink, especially if she, you know, she, the mother, likes to have this babysitter come over even when she's at home to watch the kids for whatever reason, whether she likes to relax, whatever. She's lazy, you know, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I know there are some issues there. Okay, that that all of a sudden she cancels. That is no coinky dink in my book. I, I just know it's not. My my automatic feel is like, wait a minute. Okay, that that is concerning. And then kind of have you seen, you know, this call, have you seen him? What? Okay. There's some things there. So but but I I'm get I, I feel more kind of a neglect kind of area. I'm wondering if there was some kind of little bit where we partied in the house or something. Like I said, that that eight, that three cups, the, some celebration kind of things. Was there some kind of little thing going on? And some you know kind of kind of thing get neglected. I'm just just a little bit of a vibe. I feel maybe people were you know they're they're a little inebriated, some things like that. Okay, there is some kind of weird things though. You know we saw him. You know like I said at six. You know, mother, you know, I know 930 could be still a, a fairly early time, but apparently somebody, you know, either her or the boyfriend is texting this babysitter at 529. So somebody's up at that time. Why is mother getting up later? Usually kids, wait, I know they, how they are. They wake up early. Why are you not awake? They're, that's some kind of weird stuff. Just when I kind of feel out knowing how early kids get up, that's just the way they are. Unless they've stayed up real, real, real super late, but they still normally know the way little kids are at 20 months they wake up pretty early that's what they do okay um so we we've got some things there something relevant with the number eight um i know we just had um october 8 passed but um it could be also 28 because i did roll a two and an eight um that that, that could be um i'm a little concerned the failure card that this could drag out with these searches not finding him for a little bit this is this is some frustrating stuff there 
Um, we're not getting the whole picture here, though. Definitely. I definitely feel some cover-up stuff, some deception. 100%. Okay, and I think even Grandma knows it. Um, that there's, there's, there's definitely some neglect going on. These, these, these kids are dumb. Okay, these kids are dumb. Um, just, just trying to... I'm just being real with you. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm type of person. You know what? Um, Spirit says, I, I'm going to, I'm going to grab big thoughts. Just, I'm going to throw a few, um, just a few. Woo, my head is spinning. I just feel very dizzy. This is just some heavy, I feel the guides are like, you know, really strong right now. You know, but yeah, I, I definitely, I, maybe I was feeling the anger of the grandma. Why do I have to evict you to get out of the house? Okay, but I, you know, I do have some questions. You know, I know she's got custody. Is she trying to give her a chance to be a mother? You know, and, you know, all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you what's going on. Death card is at the crown. I'm very concerned with that. Something told me to pull cards. Okay, from uh, Thought. Yes, a Six of Cups, like I said. Some kind of drinking or something was going on in this house and everything. That's why Spirit said don't stop yet. Okay, so disappointment that really, um, that can be more to get lost, the Five of Cups, and so forth. Um, also, even disappointment with the grandmother. Okay, they were trying to work as a team, kind of come up with an agreement. She had custody, remember we talked about that. Um, definitely they were in a battle strife with this child. Okay, with the grandmother and everything. Um, now, the Six of Pentacles, which is, that is also can be the gift giving, and also as well. Okay, um, but it's a success card. Um, seven of wands. Yeah, I, I, they're definitely, there's, there's this kind of battle. They're kind of trying to, you know, defend, but all this surrounding, you know, somehow, some kind of little one, I feel is kind of getting some kind of opportunity there, you know, like I said, but I, I feel they know where he is. I, I just, I'm, I'm just telling you, and that's what I kind of feel. I feel they know where he is. And law enforcement is on it. I feel this is really law enforcement, um, heavily in there. Okay, and some, you know, some kind of change. Some kind of change is going to take in this case. Let me just overlap one more and everything. Okay, so we've got the Eon. Judgment. Hell yeah. Okay, judgment. Yep. So, um, yeah, Spirit told me to just take one more look. So, um, I'm not feeling good about Little Quentin. Okay, with the death card. That was the very first card I pulled out of this deck. Um, with a second look, Seven of Cups seems to be, I feel like Spirit's trying to affirm. There's something going on that night. There's some kind of drinking. There's something going on. Okay. I just have disappointment, obviously the grandmother and everything like that. But the Six of Pentacles, like I said, that can be giving gifts to the beggars. Okay, we got these, you know, the two, if you look at the um, Rider weight, that's what normally shows somebody, you know, and it looks like they're just wanting a handout. Okay, I'm just saying, that's what I feel the Six of Pentacles is saying, you know, because it's also right below, it's right below that Three of Pentacles, you know, we're having this, they obviously had some kind of agreement at first, you know, obviously, one, she, grandma's got custody. They're in this house. She wants to get them out now. Things aren't going well. They're destroying the house. Okay? The battle card and everything like that. It's a mess, guys. It's a mess. So, I, I feel, I, I feel, I feel these, uh, these young people know that Quentin's not with us. And there's some cover-up, some kind of accident somehow takes place um, is what I'm feeling. Okay, I don't feel anything intentional. I don't feel anybody flipped out anger or anything like that. Something feels neglect. Um, some kind of thing. But I feel they are aware. Whatever happens here, I, I feel they're aware of what's going on. Okay, the, the one good thing on the upside. I know none of this is good. This They're not masterminds. They're not smart people. So I, I do feel this should crack. Someone's going to go to jail. Eight of Swords. Um some kind of situation is kind of down. Um, so something here, but I, I feel there could potentially, I just hear, I know the one, you know, the 241, there does seem to be an air, uh, a place there. Uh, could he be put somewhere in around that 241 buck halter? I, I was hearing that there is a 241 buck halter. Check it out. Uh, but also I'm hearing something, I know it sounds weird, turkeys, turkeys. And there is, you know, about 15 minutes driving away. I don't even know if these guys have cars. Um, but something makes you feel, they, I don't know. But there is a, a wild turkey road, roughly about 15 minutes driving distance. Not that far away, uh, really, when you think about 15 minutes, is, is not that far. Could there have been a drive put somewhere? Um, visualization, just recapping. Uh, do you feel kind of a wood thing? I kind of get a little visual of like a, 
almost like a little shacky kind of thing. It's hard. It's, it's kind of fuzzy. But then I almost, it almost, maybe an ATV, something with big wheels kind of parked out by something. Um, just, just some things I'm feeling there. Um, I, as far as um, wind finding, a little concerned with the failure, it could drag on. Um, I'm hoping, though, it doesn't. You know, we always pray for the best. Of course, we always pray for the best, that these things are wrong, that little one is still with us and everything. But those are some kind of things that I'm kind of feeling at this moment. And, yes, we're all praying for Quentin, um, the little sweetheart. Okay? I hope this helps.